are the things that you need for this project you'll need a pair of shorts and a top from your closet that fit good to use as a template you'll also need an oversized men's shirt i got mine from walmart a um, pair of scissors a ruler a tape measure some pins and something to mark with like chalk but i'm using an invisible marker i'm going to start with my top so for the top i'm going to use the top part of the shirt and for the bottoms i'm going to use the bottom part of the shirt so i'm going to place my top over the oversized shirt and i'm going to cut out the shape of the top but i'm going to leave an inch on both sides and before i cut this out i'm going to measure to make sure everything is good So I'm just cutting along the lines right now. All right guys, so I'm going to use this for the top. So make sure you save your scraps cause we're going to need this for later. Okay guys, so I'm done with my top right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for my shorts so for the shorts what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold this over like this and then i have my shorts right here that i'm using as a template so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to fold my shorts over like this i'm going to use this as a template right here just to mark out the shape of the shorts so i'm going to cut along right here but i'm also going to leave a centimeter on all the sides I'm going to go ahead and cut out the shape of the pants where I just marked. I have six pieces right now two for my top and four for my shorts. I have my scraps right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the sleeves or arms, whatever I want to call it. This is what I'm going to use to make my waistband. So I'm going to cut them off. out your sleeve it should look something like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it over like this and i'm going to cut right here and right here and right here if you don't get what i mean just just watch me so to make a waistband i'm going to join these two pieces together and i'm going to sew right here and after sewing right here, it's going to be one long waistband. And I'm going to measure it on my on my waist. And then I'm going to cut out the excess pieces just in case there are any. If it fits, I'm going to just sew it together right here. So for my shorts, I'm going to sew right here. And I'm also going to sew right here. Then I'm also going to sew right here and right here. This is what your waistband should look like. Okay guys, so back to my pieces. I'm going to get these and I'm going to pin them together all the way down here. Then I'm also going to get these, pin it down all the way up here, then sew it together. So I'm going to get my waistband and I'm going to flip it inside out. And I'm going to match the rough edges of both the shorts and the, and the waistband together like this. And I'm going to pin them down 
and i'm going to sew them together as i'm going to stretch as i'm sewing i'm going to be stretching it out then sew them together then when i'm done i'm just going to flip this over like this and i'll be done with my pants this is the finished product I'm working on my top right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it inside out I'm going to sew right here and I'm also going to sew right here I'm going to give it a finished look right here as well and right here as well and I cut these two out and I'm going to use them as straps so I'm going to just pull them like this and cut them to my desired length and I'm going to use these as my straps